the E300 electronic overload relay only allows one exclusive owner to own all configuration data for the E300. When using a Logix controller and the E300 device profile, the Logix controller is the exclusive owner. If a Logix controller is not used to communicate with the E300, then the E300 is the exclusive owner. This video will demonstrate the effects of a user trying to configure E300 parameters using the E300 web server while a Logix controller is actively communicating with the E300. The Logix controller's device profile shows that the trip class should be set at 10. The full load current should be set at 1.00 amps. And the motor type is single phase. If we try to change any of these configuration parameters through the E300 web server, in this example, we will set the FLA setting to 10.00 amps. After the setting has been changed, we will press apply. The following error message will show up. It's indicating that the E300 is in a wrong device state. This means that the Logix controller owns the configuration data. When this occurs, the user can simply acknowledge this error and cancel the configuration request on the web server. If a user would like to change the FLA setting, he must do so through the E300 device profile. We will set the full load amps to 10.00 amps and press apply. Hitting yes will apply these configuration values to the E300 electronic overload relay. The configuration values have now been downloaded to the E300.